Hello everyone and welcome to a video in which I will tell you all about focus farming. This video is a part of a series on everything about affinity and focus farming, so be sure to stick around. We have already covered how the affinity is shared between the players and your weapons, and all the basics you need to know about affinity farming. With that out of the way, we will now cover the basics of focus farming, starting with what we need it for and how much you can farm it up, continuing with the focus lenses, which are very important for farming focus, and we will finish with a few recommendations for farming places and other tips I can offer, so let's start. You unlock the focus schools after completing the second dream quest. Focus is needed for two things. The first one is advancing the focus schools of the ten ways. This will make your operator and your warframe much stronger and more useful as well. The second use of focus is representing your Tenno school. I advise you not to buy these things before you max your school however, it is a waste of focus and everything is too freaking expensive. Every day you may farm up a certain amount of focus, the amount of which depends on your mastery rank, 250k plus 5k for every additional mastery rank. So. If I am master rank 15, I will be able to farm 250k plus 15 times 5k, which is 325k. A lot of focus. You may also look at how much you can still farm up in the back of the orbiter at the transference pod. When you open the focus schools, you will see the amount you can still farm up in the lower left corner. Focus is a byproduct of affinity farming, you get it in three ways. The first one is getting a focus lens on your weapons or warframes. With them you just need to kill and that is it. A small percentage of the affinity you get from the kills will be converted into focus. The amount you get depends on the kind of focus lens you have, varieties of which we will cover later. The second way is a bit more grindy and it is killing Thrax Centurions and Legates, Armageddon Void Angels and regular Void Angels. The Centurions give you 2500 focus to the currently active schools, Armageddon Void Angels 7500 focus and the regular Void Angels 15000 focus. Every single bit of that focus goes towards the currently active school, just to mention it again. For this way I sincerely recommend you to play Void Cascade mode on the Zaraman since you will get a lot of focus and also arcanes that the special enemies drop. With that way out of our sight, there is one more way which is in my opinion the best. Two previous ways are limited by the daily focus cap, but this one, the third one, is not. By using Brilliant and Radiant Eidolon Shards you can get a bogus amount of focus. The two kinds of shards can be farmed up by capturing Eidolon Gantulists and Hydrolists, so be sure to give them some whooping and say hi from me as well. At this point we have seen every single way the three ways to farm focus, but while the second and third way are not that sophisticated, the first one of killing things with the weapons and getting focus via void lenses is quite complex. Let's first look at the lenses. Lenses will convert some of the affinity you get to focus. You first need to add the lens on your weapon or warframe, which must be max level. To do that, go to the thing you want to add the lens to, such as a warframe, which is absolutely the best option in almost any case. You need to go to the things modding menu, at the bottom there is the actions option so click it and on the right there should be a focus lens option. Open it and install your lens as you wish. They can be installed on any weapon, warframe, vehicle or even amp but they will be destroyed upon getting them on so no getting it back. The focus lenses can be traded but can also be farmed, there are four varieties. Just the normal version, the Greater Focus Lens, Eidolon Focus Lens and the Lua Focus Lens. To make a Lua Lens you need an Eidolon Lens, to make an Eidolon Lens you need a Greater Lens and to make a Greater Lens you need two normal lenses. Let's look at each lens type in a bit more detail though. The normal lenses convert about 1.25% of all affinity gained by the weapon into focus. You can get the normal lenses from the third tier bounties on the Plains of Eidolon and or Valis, the second tier on the Cambion Drift and you can also get them from the Zaraman Void Cascade. Be sure to look at the drops before you go into the bounty so you get the right lenses for the school you want. Also I want to apologize for not really explaining the locations and everything regarding the normal lenses. My excuse is there is just too many. 
and sincerely recommend you go and look on the wiki though for this one. The second kind, the greater lenses, convert 1.75% of your affinity, which is not that much higher at first sight than the normal lenses, but it is a 40% increase. You can craft greater lenses with a blueprint you can get from the market and two lenses of your desired school, with some additional resources obviously. And you can also farm them up by playing Zareman bounties from 3 to 5, so I suggest the latter. Eidolon lenses convert 2.25% of affinity gained and 80% increase compared to the normal or regular lenses. You can get the blueprint for the Eidolon lens at the tier 5 bounty on the plains of Eidolon. Good luck farming it! The blueprint does need a greater lens of your desired school, so be sure to have one ready. Wow, my voice just almost left me, wow. Lua Lens is the last variety of the focus lenses and it converts 160% more affinity than the normal focus lens. To get the blueprint of the lens you will need to play Lua Disruption, which is quite fun since it is also the best way to get Axie Relics. The drop chance of Lua Lens blueprint is extremely low however, so I wish you some extreme luck with this one. While you are running around a mission and you have at least one focus lens attached to one of the weapons or warframes, you may find yourself something called a Convergence Orb. These things will give you a 10 times boost to focus gain upon pickup for 45 seconds, so be sure to pick them up and farm as much as you can during that time. We have gone over all the lenses and the uses of the focus all together, so now it is time to tell you which places are the best to farm focus at. First I suggest you watch the video on affinity sharing between players and your gear since it has many useful details regarding affinity that also applies to focus since they are so tightly connected. It should be in the upper right corner. If I want to tell you about the best ways to farm focus, I must first mention that it is exactly the same as farming affinity. Places where you can kill as many enemies that are as high level as possible as quickly as possible. The two places for that are Hydron Defense on Sedna and the Elite Sanctuary on Slot. Altogether, you can get loads of affinity at any place that is packed with Grenier enemies since they have the highest average base affinity value per enemy kill. They are absolutely the best. I again sincerely recommend you to watch the previous episodes of this mini series on focus and affinity farming since it talks about the affinity boosts and how affinity works. It will save you a lot of time, believe me. But yeah, that is it, I will soon make a barrage of videos all about focus schools, but for now I thank you for watching, please like, comment, share, or maybe even subscribe, and also have an amazing day. Bye guys!